You can fold your paper in half and you can draw either horizontal or vertically on one half the side. Watch this and then turn off the video and do this on your own. Right now you're just watching. Okay, um, again, you can do your own style of this, just curves, and you can do whatever amount you want around the outside. Then what you're going to do is um, start making curves like this. But when you go like this, you go right to the corner here. You start out here and have it touch. And you can use markers, pencils, whatever you want. You can use mechanical pencil if you choose. Notice I am going here and this goes right back down here. And when I do this, see how dark that's getting on this side? And that goes right up to here. I'm going to turn this so it's more comfortable for me. You start out right here and then go around. Take your time. I'm going a little bit too fast. You want to be a little more precise. You keep doing that until you get to the end. Keep going like this. And notice how dark that's getting right over here. That's what you want is darker right in here. Now here you're going to go again like this. And you're going to use the same idea of going back to where you started, get to that point. And see how nice and dark that's getting on this side and this side. At, when you finish this, you'll see why it makes it look more 3D. Um, so do that to all of these. Then you're going to decide how you're going to add some more curves onto this. You can go every other one. You can go every one. Be careful that you don't do this. You want to go right up to it. Stop. Just be a little careful about it. It'll look much neater. And if you decide you're going to go out like this, and this is going to come this way and go here and smaller, and you want these to kind of, I'm going to move out this way so I have a traveling one that goes around here. Again, you don't want a lot of white space, negative space left. And then you're going to just go right in here, just like you were doing the other ones, and go like that. And make sure that you go right up to this so it gets nice and dark here. If you go like that, it gets dark. Again, and move your paper, however works for you, that you feel good about balancing your body, your hand while you're doing this. Just keep going until you get to the end. I'm going to finish this one up here so you see totally what you're supposed to be doing. Again, and take your time. As long as you're working hard in class and doing this assignment, it's a matter of making it look neat. I'd rather have neat assignments than a whole bunch of sloppy ones with poor craftsmanship. So do that to each of these. You'll get a nice three-dimensional look. You'll see a lot of movement in this, but it looks like this is curving on the paper. It gives you that illusion. Feel free to add new ideas.